Hey everybody, Amp Repair Guy. Here's my phone number and my website. Today we have another Ameritron AL811H. So the bottom relay here is damaged. He had a massive failure with one of the tubes. Flashing internally. Um, relay is no longer functional. So this relay controls the biasing and the RF switching between the input SO239 and the input circuit. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and replace it with a brand new one. I'll, I already replaced the SO239 connectors. They were The PL259 pin was slipping right in and out, so those have been changed. So in order to get this out, what I do is I unsolder the output coaxial of the board carefully. I unsolder all of these connections, one from the input SO239, the output SO239, the ALC, no that's the, I'm sorry, that's the uh, keyer line, that's the uh, ALC pot, so I unsolder that black wire and I unsolder the, the wire right there, that solid wire, then you take out all the screws. And I fold this forward and I use desolder wick, this stuff right here, to lift the solder from all the pins. And I'll put the new one in. So I'll go ahead and get started on that and I'll be back with the board out so you can see what it looks like. And I will be back. Stay. Okay, I got the board pulled out as you can see. Just take your time, you, know, you do stuff like this, and you're just nice and slow. So, since I have the whole tube assembly out, and I'll be adding the gas discharge tubes, the MOVs can come out. They're over there on the other side of the filament choke. Not the small red ones, but the darker red ones. No longer needed with the gas discharge tubes. So I'll be back after I lift the relay. Okay, so I've removed the old relay, put it aside, and put the new one in. Cleared out all the holes it's down here. So I'll put the new one in. I'll be back. Okay, so the relay's installed. Just clean solder joints. Remove the MOVs. I just use my right angle needle nose pliers and bend it back and forth to snap the leads. I'm careful not to damage the the uh, ceramic disc caps on the other side over there. So, okay, I'm going to put it all back together. Okay, so the board's back in. I'm going to show you how I safely test it. I disconnect the transformer secondary leads from the filter cap assembly over here. And I put a jumper over the interlock switch over here. So I went ahead and keyed it. Took a continuity reading between the input connector and the input circuit over here. So I went right to the wiper on the input rotary. I have continuity. And then I went from this wire over here over to the diode string right there. See it right here. Let me get something to point at it. But let's see. Here's my. Let's see that this one has the diode string. So I went to the trace right here. So there, continuity with a keyed. Continuity from here up to here with a keyed. So the relay is working. So I'm going to put this back in and I'll fire it up. But so that's all set. And uh, thank you for watching. You've seen the other stuff before, so I'm not going to put that back in all that. Um, just basically will be showing that back in. So there's my website, my phone number. Thank you for watching. If you have an amplifier that needs to be repaired that you see in one of my videos, feel free to give me a call. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Take care.